Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous has recently shown a new clip and a few images to reveal some information for the show, and with them has come a lot of questions and concerns for the new season, including the reveal of a brand new hybrid, the Mosasaurus, and also a plot point that's going to be connecting to Dominion in a big way, possibly. That's new. me we shouldn't go in there which means we're obviously going in there come on hey guys how you all doing today now for today's video we're going to be talking about all the new information for Camp Cretaceous Season 4 that has recently come out. And I think we should start off with the new hybrid that was revealed a few days ago which appears to be a mix between a Sinoceratops and a Spinosaurus, with the Spinosaurus sail being on the back of the creature in a snowy environment. And what's interesting is this also does connect back to Season 1, because if you recall in Season 1, Brooklyn discovered that Sammy was actually taking Sinoceratops samples in one of the episodes, which is pretty interesting that something like that's being called back to, and that Sammy is technically responsible for the fourth official hybrid in the franchise. One thing I will point out is that this hybrid does bring a few concerns to me, because for one thing, it's making, it's another hybrid. Yes, it's the first official herbivorous hybrid, which is an interesting thing to see, I will add, but what is the purpose of it? Because with all the other three hybrids, they've had major importance to the franchise. The only importance that we see for it so far is that it's most likely going to be the new dino pet of the campers, since Bumpy is no longer tagging with them. It's still on Isla Nublar, unfortunately, for the campers. Which, other than that, we don't know what its importance of. Who knows, but still, this hybrid, while it does look interesting and a kind of bizarre, it does raise some questions and concerns for me. Now, let's get to the Mosasaurus clip, which I must say, I really did enjoy this clip. It really calls back to Jaws for me, like especially the way the Mosasaurus goes onto the boat and literally starts to lean it towards the sea. And also does have one ridiculous scene where Yaz thinks it's a good idea to try and whack the Mosasaurus in the face with a paddle, which honestly, what did she think that was going to do? Although I will say I loved how after she does it, the Mosasaurus literally screams right at them and they all run far away from it. That part was really funny to me, and also kind of bone chilling, because, I mean, having that Mosasaurus which is big enough to swallow all of them in one gulp, yeah, that's scary to see. And we get to see what happened to the boat, and also, interestingly, we don't see the mysterious creature, which recently was also confirmed to be a copy, which is unfortunate, but does raise questions. Specifically, what about the Scorpius Rex? Because we know that the Scorpius Rex is actually confirmed to be in Camp Cretaceous Season 4, with an image that was shown of it in a redwood forest, or what appears to be a redwood forest. However, we all theorized that it would be the creature on the boat, which is no longer true, at least so far. It could be that it's not just the copy, which could be interesting, but if it is just the compi, how did they get it there? Did Manticore actually take it from the island? Which does raise a question. Do they only have one, or do they have more? That is an important question that we could discuss in a video, perhaps, if we get it out before Camp Cretaceous. Who knows? But, also, one thing that's interesting is we get to see the Mosasaurus attack a shark, and the shark actually appears to go after um, Darius. But the scene with the Mosasaurus is very interesting. I do like how it's set up, just they're trying to fix the boat from what seems to be it caught on some kelp or something. That's what it appears to be. But also, we get to see some tension with the campers panicking over Darius' safety because a shark's coming towards them. And then it's like out of the frying pan and into the fire because then the Mosasaurus appears and literally swallows it whole. The only part of this that I don't like is how the Mosasaurus destroys the boat because it seems to literally just because it jumps into the air and then sort of like a whale just drops onto it, which I don't think Mosasaurus would really do that, but who knows? Maybe it can? I don't know, but it is a little weird. Now let's get on to some information for Dominion and also the Spinosaurus because 
a lot of information by Scott Kramer has come out because in an interview that he did on Collider, I believe it was, Scott Kramer gave a lot of information for connections to Dominion, the Spinosaurus, and even some other interesting things, specifically why they didn't go to Issa Sorna, which honestly their reason is mainly they didn't want to go to another jungle island, which, and they wanted to explore something different, which I feel like they could have done with Sorna, especially because People seem to forget this, but Sorno is not just a jungle island. It also has a redwood forest on it because, remember, the Lost World was Sorno with a redwood forest. It was only with Jurassic Park 3 that it got changed, but who knows? I don't know, but it is still strange that we're getting an island so close to Nubar that nobody knows about, which does kind of stretch my belief a little bit, but what stretched my belief more is another bit of information regarding the robot dinosaurs, specifically the ones that we've seen in the trailer and also a few images. And apparently, in the show, it's going to be shown that they have dominated the dinosaurs on this new island, which is kind of a little bizarre, I must say. Like, in some ways, I think it can work, but I don't think we should be going this far. And I don't, I don't know how I feel about it, guys. It's kind of weird. It could work. I don't know, but still, having the dinosaurs dominated by robots doesn't seem like a good idea, in my opinion. Like, maybe the, maybe they'll explain it in a way that, like, they've abused these animals so much that, like, anything can just destroy them now, which is an interesting idea, as with the Jurassic World trilogy, they've really been focused on showing the dinosaurs as no longer just the monsters that we've seen them in the first three movies, now we get to see them more as the victims and not just the victimizers, which is a thing I really like to see with these things. But who knows? The robot dogs, I, I don't know. It, it just doesn't work for me. Maybe it'll work. I don't know. But it is stretching my belief a lot. But one bit of information that is interesting is about the Spinosaurus because we get to hear about how it's going to be very important to the series and stuff and how... When they left the island, Scott Kramer said he wanted to basically bring the Spinosaurus back more than any other creature. Which, gotta say, I really like hearing that because Spinosaurus is a really underused dinosaur. One thing that's interesting is that Scott Kramer has stated that the Spinosaurus won't be like a major p villain dinosaur in the show. Which is interesting because we do have Scorpius Rex to still deal with, so it could be that. We don't know what the villain dinosaur really is. Maybe we won't even get a full villain dinosaur. But it does question how much of a role it will have. Maybe it'll die. Maybe it'll actually be taken away or something. Because there's still the rumors of Spinosaurus appearing in Camp Cretaceous, not Camp Cretaceous, sorry, Jurassic World Dominion. So we could have it that they take the dinosaur off the island and maybe eventually it goes on to the mainland. Who knows? We could find out that sooner or later, especially if we have future seasons. Who knows? But still, one of the most interesting things is that the Spinosaurus is not the villain dinosaur and that we still get more information that it could be the dinosaur from the original movie, JP3, which it's basically confirmed, especially because of the way that he describes it, describing it as its own character and that one that we've been waiting to see for so long. It has to be. But it also does raise a lot of questions. Specifically, if it is the Spinosaurus from Isla Sorna, what other ones were brought from Sorna? Including the mysterious T-Rex that we have, because it is an in-gen T-Rex. That's guaranteed. So, did they take that one too? Are there other dinosaurs that were taken from Isla Sorna? What happened to them? What's the state of Isla Sorna? So many questions for Site B that they can't need to answer, but it, I am worried that they're not going to answer those questions, especially what is the state of Sorna? We haven't seen it since 2001, and while we do know it's going to have some importance with Dominion as with the Site B canister that was shown like a year ago almost, good god, and some still images that suggest Sorna's physical return. Who knows what's the state of Sorna? Could we see it back in Camp Cretaceous? Do we? Probably not. Do we know the state of it? No. Are we going to find out? Probably not, which is unfortunate. The season, it's been hyped a lot. Like, we've barely gotten any information, less than any other season so far, and it is kind of worrying, because we don't know what's it 
What's the, where's the story going? What's its importance to the franchise? Especially because now we're going to crazy territory with robots. We have um, an island completely holographic and now changing its biomes. It's kind of weird. It may work for the story, but how does it connect? And especially because Scott Kramer has said that there are things in the franchise that they've wanted to do that they couldn't do in a live action story, which probably does include these robot dinosaurs, which I don't know how I feel about it. Season 4 may be the best one yet. For me right now, Season 3 is still my favorite, and it's going to be tough to top that one. But who knows, maybe they will succeed. But guys, what do you think about this so far, all this information? And its connections with Dominion because apparently we're not even going to have major connections there'll be references to Camp Cretaceous in Dominion and that certain story elements that they've wanted to go to which is an interesting point there have been certain story elements that they've wanted to go through but Colin Farah has said that they are steering too close to Dominion which is both questioning and concerning maybe it's just because the Dominion prologue just came out and maybe I'm Worried they're going to go too far with Dominion or something. I don't know. Who knows what's going to happen. But what do you guys think about it? What do you think about this new Sinoceratops Spinosaurus hybrid? What do you think about Manticore's involvement? What do you think about this being the official Spinosaurus? Also, the Mosasaurus attack? What do you think about all of it? Whatever your thoughts and opinions happen to be, I would love to hear them all in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed this video, guys, I would appreciate the like, and if you haven't already, do hit the subscribe button to join the hunt. Be safe, and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye bye